You're here with Maeve, back at Bike Matters for yet another top 10 video. Now, it's hard to find a motorcycle that has had more of an impact on British culture than the Cafe Racer. Originally ridden by the speed-loving youngsters of the 50s and 60s, most of these motorcycles were custom made and their stripped down appearance has become a timeless style choice still appreciated by the modern riders of today. With a huge boom in retro style bikes taking place in recent years, there are some excellent modern cafe races being produced in 2022. And in this video, we are going to look at 10 of the absolute best. So let's get straight into it. Very aptly named, the Herald Cafe 400 is not only a lovely and very traditional looking cafe racer that makes a great option for those on a tighter budget, but it's also kicking off 2022's list. Powered by a 397cc single cylinder engine that reaches 27 brake horsepower, the Herald Cafe 400 is a good choice for A2 riders or anyone after something a little more mellow in the performance department. The Herald doesn't come with a huge spec, but it does feature adjustable suspension and the stripped down and minimalistic approach that may be a plus for some. Aside from its great vintage design, the other huge factor here is the price. Starting at £4,499, this is the cheapest motorcycle on this list and a big reason why we had to make it number 10 today. Next up at number 9, with their Vitpillen 701, Husqvarna have taken the Neo Retro approach. It's pure cafe racer in its ride style and stance, but it also has a futuristic edge to the design. As with most of their naked range, the Vitpillen 701 shares a lot of its components with a KTM counterpart. In this case, it's the 690 Duke. This includes the 74 brake horsepower 692cc single cylinder engine. It's no bad thing at all, considering it's now tried and tested and comes with more than ample performance. The Vitpillen 701 is also fully loaded with features. This includes Brembo brakes at the front and back, WP Apex forks and monoshock, Bosch ABS, switchable traction control and a quick shifter. The visuals are also top of the line stylish, although they may not please traditionalists. But as with most things when it comes to fashion, you do have to pay for it. The Vitpillen 701 starts at £8,899 a full grand more than Yamaha's XSR 700. But it is one of the most unique bikes out there and why it had to take number nine on the list today. At number eight, the SV650X is Suzuki's modern take on a cafe racer. It uses the SV650's street naked base and adds a sportier ride position with clip-on bars and a front cowl. The result is surprisingly good with great visuals and great all-round performance. The 645cc liquid-cooled V-twin with a 72 brake horsepower output occupies that middle ground where the bike is easy to manage for less experienced riders but still has plenty of power and a lot of fun factor. There was a small update to the colour scheme in 2021 and the new black edition with gold frame looks especially nice. When it comes to fancy features, Suzuki have kept things pretty basic although it does have adjustable suspension and their low RPM assist to make it harder to stall at low speeds. Another plus for you beginners out there. The result is a £6,999 price tag, which makes it exceptionally good value for money. The Super Volace 800 from MV Augusta received a fresh update for 2022. And while not a traditional cafe racer, it does have a healthy dose of retro style and definitely sticks with the ton-up boy philosophy of high speed. The 798cc three-cylinder engine reaches 147 brake horsepower at 13,000 RPM, so it performs like a high-revving super sport. The ride position has been toned down a little in keeping with its more retro design, meaning it is a little more practical than you might expect, while still being blisteringly fast. The Super Valeche has also been given every bit of tech you can think of, with an up and down quick shifter, 8 level traction control, slipper clutch and customisable ride modes for starters. As with all MV Augusta motorcycles, it looks like a work of art and costs an arm and a leg. Starting at £18,550, woo! This is a beautiful bike for an experienced rider with a big wallet. That big price is why it couldn't score higher than number 7 today.
Launched back in 2015, the Scrambler was one of the bikes that really kickstarted this huge retro revival in motorcycling. We've seen a whole bunch of variations added to Ducati's Scrambler range, and although the Scrambler Cafe Racer is no longer in production, the latest version, the Scrambler Night Shift, is the next big thing and up next at number 6. Design-wise, the Night Shift sits somewhere between a flat tracker and a cafe racer. The bench-style seat, bar end mirrors and rear set foot position are all in place and if you swap the bars out for some clip-ons, you would be in full cafe racer territory. As it stands, the Night Shift already looks phenomenal and it is actually one of the cheapest ways to have a Ducati badge on your tank. The engine is the 800cc Desmo twin cylinder and with 73 horsepowers, it again ends up in a nice spot and that's easy to manage for newcomers but with plenty of go for more experienced riders. Despite being one of their cheaper motorcycles, it is still a Ducati, so you have to remember that the price still reflects that, starting at £10,195. However, it does look fantastic and if you want that Ducati Scrambler style, then you probably won't care about the price. We've hit the halfway point, so I just want to give a quick shout out to Lexum Insurance, who helped power us here at Bike Matters. They are motorcycle and scooter insurance specialists and offer great rates on most two-wheelers. So if you're looking for a new quote and are based in the UK, click the top right hand corner now for a £20 discount from your quote. Now let's get back to the video. Royal Enfield surprised us all way back in 2018 with their pair of twins, the Interceptor and the Continental GT. That feels like a very long time ago now in this post-Covid world. While the Interceptor has gone on to become one of the biggest selling motorcycles in the UK, it is of course the Continental GT that interests us here and marks halfway on the list today. When it comes to the Cafe Racer authenticity, it's hard to top the GT. The original Continental GT250 came out in 1965 as an attempt by Enfield to provide a Cafe Racer styled motorcycle straight out of the showroom, rather than the usual custom jobs of the time. If you line up the new version alongside the old version, the resemblance is clear. It absolutely, no doubt about it, looks the part. While the looks are pure vintage, this 2022 model has plenty of modern tech too. This includes Bybee brakes, two channel Bosch ABS and a slipper clutch. In addition to all that, perhaps the biggest selling point is the fact it only costs £6,239. Yes, you heard me right. But remember you can add on a little extra for some of the fancier paint schemes, including chrome. It can be ridden on an A2 license too. When it comes to value for money and accessibility, it doesn't get much better than this. Now, I know it isn't strictly a cafe racer, but the new 2022 XSR 900 has taken a big step in that direction when it comes to the styling. Especially when you take a look at the new bodywork and the seat. All it needs is a set of clip-ons put on, which are also in the aftermarket options, and you have one impressive cafe racer. The Yamaha XSR 900 now comes with the newly Euro 5 updated 890cc three-cylinder engine from the NT09. With 117 brake horsepower and 93 Nm of torque, this thing is an absolute beast and one of the best performing bikes in its category. On top of that, Yamaha have added on every high-tech feature you can think of. This includes a quick shifter, slip and assist clutch, cruise control, slide control, traction control, everything control, as well as ride modes and a host of high quality components. The 2022 XSR 900 starts at £9,900, which considering all the tech and its formidable performance, is actually quite the bargain and why it had to score high on today's list taking the number 4 spot. Now it's only fitting we include some triumphs on the list, considering many of the original Cafe Racer motorcycles were custom built with Triumph parts. Triumph have fully embraced this heritage with the brand new Thruxton RS Tonup Edition. Kicking off the top 3, it's a tribute to the original Tonup Boys. It takes the already excellent Thruxton RS and adds a unique blue and white paint job and an even higher level of detail in the finish, including blacked out engine covers, springs and anodized wheels. The result is a pretty stunning motorcycle that will please both modern and traditionalist riders alike. The core engine and components are the same as a regular RS, with a powerful Bonneville 1200cc twin that packs an impressive 103 brake horsepower and 112 Nm of torque. 
the torque peaks quite low down in the rev range at 4,250 RPM to make sure the bike has plenty of pull right across the board. This thing will be as fun to ride as it is to look at. It's a triumph, so you can expect plenty of bells and whistles here. Fully adjustable suspension comprising of Olin's twin shocks at the rear and Showa big piston forks up front, Brembo brakes at the front, adjustable traction control and ride modes just to name a few. The 2022 Thruxton RS Tonop Edition comes in at £14,050, but you can shave off 800 quid if you opt for the regular RS version. Either way, if you have the budget for it, this will definitely turn heads and induce smiles all day long. Another triumph for the list, but this time perhaps the opposite end of the spectrum. Where the Thruxton goes for a more traditional design, the Ferocious Speed Triple 1200 RR takes a more modern approach while still maintaining that unmistakable British sports styling. For me, and I think for many others, this was the bike of the show at Motorcycle Live. It takes a successful speed triple formula and adds clip-on bars and a minimalist front cowl to create something truly unique and visually stunning. A mighty 1160cc three-cylinder engine that puts out 178 brake horsepower and 125Nm of torque is the centre point of this motorcycle. It offers cutting edge speed and performance and a list of features and components as long as your arm. Olin Smart EC 2.0 electronically adjustable semi-active suspension is perhaps the most impressive addition. Aside from being manually adjustable, the forks and shock can make small adjustments automatically based on the current riding conditions. Starting at £17,950, it just missed out on the top spot today, but that doesn't mean it isn't one of the most impressive motorcycles on the road in 2022. It really, really is. Taking the crown today is a bike that's definitely the most unique on this list. It's limited to just 100 units and manufactured in the UK, the Langen two-stroke is as much of a work of art as it is a cafe racer. Let's get this out of the way first. There is a colossal £33,600 price tag on one of these, but it is one of a kind. So for most of us, it will be the stuff of dreams. It would certainly make a show-stopping centerpiece for anyone's collection though, and with such a limited production run, I imagine it will hold its value very well indeed. The Langen isn't just for show either. It is also quite the technological marvel. With every trick in the book, including an advanced ECU controlled fuel and oil injection system used to squeeze out the maximum performance possible. You might be surprised to hear that this little 249cc V-twin puts out 74 brake horsepower, which when combined with a light as a feather 125 kilo weight is capable of reaching speeds of up to 140 miles per hour. Now, we can't just be the only ones who are excited about this bike. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, I know this is a top 10 and we've already filled the list, but I thought we would finish with a cheeky little special mention and a look to the future. Norton's V4 CR prototype was released at Motorcycle Live. And whilst the details are yet to be finalized, here is what we know so far. Firstly, it's packing a 1200cc V4 engine with a whopping 185 brake horsepower. So you can expect superbike performance in a futuristic cafe racer body. It's safe to say we can also expect a ton of premium components and plenty of brushed aluminium and carbon on display too. Time will tell when this becomes available and what the price will be, but we'll keep our eyes peeled and let you know as soon as we know more. That brings our top 10 cafe racers video for 2022 to an end. What do you think to our entries? Are you just as impressed by the Triumph Speed Triple 1200RR as we are? Or do you have a favourite of your own? Let me know in the comments below now. Remember, if you're new around here, get subscribed. And if you like what we do, give us a thumbs up. For now, I'll see you on the next one.